When it comes to aesthetics, one company that's been absolutely killing it lately with their special edition controllers and systems is Microsoft. Microsoft, making it easier. They've been releasing a lot of very different and very cool Xbox One controllers, so many so that we've actually been amassing a bit of a collection now. We actually showcased it recently in a setup video, which if you haven't seen, make sure to go check out. And you guys loved it, this guy right here. And if you're curious how we set this guy up, a lot of people are wondering what hooks we used. We actually have the link down below in the description of this video if you want to check those out. But I thought I'd take the opportunity to go over some of my favorite controllers out of this whole collection. And if there's any controllers you guys love, make sure to let us know down in the comments. First off is the Minecraft Pig Edition controller. Minecraft Pig. Admittedly, this isn't one of the ones that I love for just pure aesthetics. It's more the novelty of it and what it kind of represents for Microsoft. Because this is one of the first controllers they released where they really started toying with having more kind of fan service-y designs. They had special edition controllers before, but they were always over the top with just designs everywhere and stuff plastered all over. And some of those were cool looking, but there's a lot about this design that's just fun, especially if you enjoy the franchise. I mean, first off, it is just a pig face on a controller, which is kind of cute, but it has a curly Q tail on the back of it, and even on the inside of the battery case is a little carrot. So there's just a lot of little things going on with this controller that's just very fun in concept, and I just think it shows a real love for what you're designing instead of just like, oh, we have to make a thing that's themed after this, throw stuff on it. Next up is a controller that I do love the look of, and that's the Volcano Shadow Controller. Volcano Shadow. Now, the Shadow series is probably one of my favorite lines that Microsoft has done for their controllers because they're controllers that look great, but it's a very simple design as well. It's not using a lot of symbols or any kind of designs. Instead, it's just having a color that fades to black, but also has this kind of iridescent sheen to it that looks really nice. A close runner up to this guy is the Ocean Shadow, which has this very deep blue, but I love the way the kind of orangish red comes across in the volcano and creates a contrast with the black, especially on the buttons. I mean, the fade right here is great, but then when you have that little bit of extra orange coming out of the top, I just love the look of this guy. And this is actually kind of my, I guess you could say daily driver for Xbox. This is the main one I use whenever I'm playing my Xbox One at the office or even at home. Then we have the Sea of Thieves Edition controller. <laughs> Now, I know I said earlier with the Minecraft one that I don't like when special editions just have way too much stuff going on and thrown on them, which you would think might be the case with this one, but honestly, I think a lot of thought went into the design of this guy, and there's a whole lot of stuff that all plays into the theme really well, which I appreciate. First off, this one is one of the controllers that has etchings on it, and in this case, it's kind of meant to be like wood rot or barnacles on a hull of a ship, which is super awesome. Uh, just like with the Minecraft one, we do have a design on the back of the battery case, which is the narwhals crossing their horns. One detail that I think a lot of people miss on this controller, which is really neat, is that around the analog stick is actually a compass design. And then of course you have the logo in the middle, which is by itself just an awesome icon for the series. And while all this together with the color choices makes for a great looking controller, I think by far one of the best details is the fact that all of this kind of greenish spray teal over it is actually glow in the dark, which is super, super cool. Next, I'm gonna cheat a little bit because this isn't exactly a standard or traditional Xbox One controller, but it does work for the system, so it counts, and that's the newly re-released versions of the Duke controller. <laughs> Now these guys were licensed by Microsoft and made by a company called Hyperkin and I'm personally always a fool for anything that's kind of a mixture of retro gaming tech brought into modern day and new stuff and that's exactly what this is. This is a remake of the old school Duke controllers which were the original controllers for the original Xbox and they were kind of infamous for being gigantic and not super comfortable. It worked out for some people but most hated it so they actually even replaced it with a smaller design but I love the idea of bringing that back and using it on the Xbox. Xbox One. So this guy will hook into the system. You can also use it with PC. And it has been adapted a little bit to work better for modern systems. Uh, the black and white button just to do the same thing as the uh, left and right bumpers. But they also added left and right bumpers, which are still pretty uncomfortable to reach for, but it's just awesome. Uh, one of the coolest little things about it though is that normally right here would just be the Xbox logo, but for this design, it's actually a little animation, which is the old Xbox startup, which looks super awesome. It's just a great little attention detail. And once again, it just fuses that retro love with a new controller. It's just awful to actually use. And then we have one of the newest controllers revealed by Microsoft, which actually isn't even out yet. They sent this to me ahead of time, and that's the Sport White controller. 
Now this one is very similar to design to another series they have called the Tech Series controllers, which are all military themed, but it's a bit different. It doesn't have some of the same little extra bits those have. Those have etchings in the grips and extra little symbols in the middle. Honestly, I'm totally fine not having those and just keeping some of the aesthetic benefits, which is this design right here and little silver trim. And just overall, the color scheme of this guy looks so clean and nice. I love the silver and kind of grayish aesthetics for the sticks and D-pad, the white with the gray and silver right here. And then this teal on the back just plays well with all of it together, making just a super crisp looking design. You know, normally I'm not a huge fan of super bright controller designs like this. I mean, as you can tell, pretty much everything else I listed was very dark, but just the color combination and everything with this plus the silver just works so well together.